بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صباح الخير uh, I would like to welcome you all to this beautiful city of Istanbul uh, well I just uh, would like to keep it very short actually but uh, I will of course try to explain the issue that we discuss today. Starting the Jasmine Revolution in Tunisia and the Arab uprising which swept across the Middle East, we saw the desire for transformation in the region, Northern Africa and Middle East. However, Today, unfortunately, we see the region in turmoil. The elected president of Egypt, Mohamed Morsi, is still behind bars. Innocent children are still dying in Syria today. And Yemen is still fighting for freedom. And of course, in the last decade, we tried to the Turkey, of course, to improve relations with both governments and the public across the Arab world. With the hope for change across the region, Turkey plays a very important, valuable, and strategic role. The seven-year-long war in Syria is a clear example of the shifting powers and the making of the new reality across the al Sharq region. Today, we discuss the reality and what might happen, what will happen, and what can we solve the issue, people of this region. But I think prior to going in details, I will refer to a historical point. To me personally, the main issue <coughs> uh, that we, we should focus is that in last century, the globe has witnessed two world wars in last century. One was called First World War and the other called Second World War. The Second World War is over. Simply because it was between the European states It's over. How? How did they solve it? Via an integration project, namely European Union. When they faced a problem, the remedy was to come together, to discuss the issue, and keep the peace via integration. As you know, the, the project. But unfortunately, the First World War is still going on. That is the issue. The aim was the whole Middle East, Northern Africa, and I would say the Muslim world 
targeting the you know soft power institutions and all of these you know issues so what happened whenever two neighbors or two brothers or two families or two countries sisterly countries friendly countries they have any dispute among themselves the remedy and you know the suggestion was to well you can't continue with this just divide just divide so for the middle eastern countries for any muslim world country the suggestion was fragmentation instead of integration that is the problem how much are we aware of this reality i'm not unfortunately agree with the term political islam what does it mean do we talk about the political christianity no if we just mention about the the historical values the civilizational values the source of culture the values that shaped our past our history our society yes the people who lives in this area of course are muslim and the, they have left behind a great civilization so that is the treasure of the asset of this geography so we have to refer these values in order to solve our daily issues and problems so if it is islam then yes that is the the problem the to 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 clear this area of i mean conceptual framework unless we agree on this issue i'm afraid it is very difficult to take step steps forward i leave just with this short message here but give an example of our own uh party the experience of our own party i am member of ak party from the very beginning of the establishment of the party i have been involved in in writing the program and in practice and so on i've been elected as a member of parliament for four consecutive terms and i have served as food and agriculture minister of government in four consecutive governments so i know the experience i know in turkey 
how did we tackle the issue of fragmentation. And I saw the topics here that, you know, referred by the paper, you know, the tribalism, the sectarianism, and all other issues. So how to combine our own values that referred from, taken from our civilization, our Islamic civilization, Pluralism that has been experienced in the real sense, in the real term, throughout history, for over more than one millennium. Even the human rights, pluralism, and so many values. So how can we combine all these, our natural and domestic values from our history, from our belief, from our, you know, uh, cultures, with those of actually uh, popular nowadays, I mean, universally, what you call them, a uh, universal values of European Union democracy, human rights, rule of law, free economy, and pluralism. And unfortunately, we've been witnessing uh, that it's very sad to say that this pluralism, for instance, is not working very well. As we witnessing, we've been witnessing xenophobia, Islamophobia, and others, mostly in European countries. Uh, when, as a political party, when we established, of course, we had some political parties in Turkey, and the, the one that we I mean, we shared many values with was called Welfare Party in 1990s. So Welfare Party, for instance, led by late Professor Erbakan, he reached to the 22% of the whole society at the utmost. We took an experience how we, how can we really be successful in democratically having more, you know, percentage of the whole society? That was our question and we did it. we reached to 50%, even more than 50% of the whole society support. I think that's why, that is the, 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 the secret behind our success in this country. How we did it. Simply one we stick to adhere to our native, domestic, historical, and of course, civilizational values. So, we, we adopt these values and we express them that we are ready to implement these values. And the nation in this country, all ethnic, you know, 
uh, populations in this country because we inherited an empire. So we have, we say in Turkish, we have, we say we have 72 different, you know, uh, ethnic groups and cultures. So we get them together. That is the, the issue. Uh, of course, we believe that we can implement and expand the same perception to the rest of the world. The same perception with the same values because we in, I mean, in all area of Middle East and North Africa and Caucasian and Balkan, in all this area, we implement all these values. We can do it in the next century as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think what's the...